it's a little bit of a different morning here at CBS News Texas and for you waking up at home it's probably going to be a different work day as well. There is a widespread tech disruption that is happening across the globe this morning. It originates with a cybersecurity company known as CrowdStrike and mm -hmm. even if CrowdStrike doesn't sound familiar to you it is a cybersecurity company that is hosted on Microsoft 365 platforms and Windows computers. So if you have a Windows computer, this is my laptop on the desk right now, you are going to probably see a screen like this and it says recovery. It looks like Windows didn't load correctly. Now what this means is that you will basically be locked out of your computer. So we are seeing this tech disruption as you know, it seems like, oh, we just can't get into our computers right. this morning. No, it is having a ripple effect across multiple different industries, airlines, banks, mm -hmm. health systems, even us here at CBS News Texas right. uh, impacted. And we want to reiterate, this is not a security incident. We actually got a statement earlier this morning from CrowdStrike CEO and saying that this is not a cyber attack. This issue has been identified. It's isolated and a fix for this issue is being deployed. However, a timeline for when this will be resolved is really still up in the air at this point. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our newsroom and get to our assignment desk editor. Uh, Ashley Moss is live for us this morning. She's checking on a number of things. Ashley, what do you have for us at this half hour? Now, one thing that we were doing for you is is at home is checking in with public safety agencies, police and fire to get an idea of what their systems and departments are operating like. We did get a brief update from Fort Worth police who did say, yes, we are experiencing difficulties, but they can't give us a full scope of what's happening right now. Earlier this morning when I got in, I was listening to scanners and I was hearing dispatchers say to folks out in the field, please use vigilance if you're out on patrol because we don't have complete access to ingoing and outgoing calls. So that's just a note of caution. But we are giving you full updates on what's happening at airports. Want to start off with Lovefield Airport. Want to give you this picture this morning. And if you're going, whoa, look at that crowd. That's actually normal airport operations. Now, going over to Dallas uh, Fort Worth Airport, uh, we were hearing from Dallas Lovefield that they're operating as normal and they have not experienced significant delays and cancellations. But want to show you the tire cam at DFW Airport. No, oh, it looks pretty good for a Friday, and we are hearing that American Airlines was back up and running as of 5 a.m., but want to show you this misery map because you are going to experience cancellations and delays. We're going to give you a live picture from Bo Evans here in just a minute, but you see, especially if you're traveling on the East Coast, you're going to see significant delays. So the usual guidance applies. Get to the airport early, prepare to stand in line, and have some... Um, have some caution, but I want to throw it out to Bo right now. He's live in the airport, and Bo, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, it's been up and down all morning, but like Madison was saying, this outage is affecting all of us. It's affecting us at CBS News Texas on a professional level and on a personal level. I mean, it really is affecting all of us. I found our own Olivia Leach. She is heading to a wedding, right? Yes, so I'm actually heading to my best friend's wedding. Hey, Ashley. <laughs> um, I'm heading there. It's in New York. Um, we're heading out to the airport. I look at my phone, see the outages, and not seeing any delays on my Aksha Delta app, but then when I opened it up, as soon as I got to the terminal here, it said delayed. I think I'm delayed boarding about six hours, so not good. I need to make the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> tonight. She's in the wedding. She has to make the rehearsal dinner. So, I mean, like, like we've been saying all morning, this is affecting everyone. Uh, what, what are you planning on doing? Are you going to just stay here and write it out? Um, so as a news person, I have been watching all the updates and being updated on American has some flights that are still going out. I'm hearing so I'm trying to get on one of those so that I can at least get to New York in time for this evening. Um, but it's not looking super promising. I wanted to be here in case my flight somehow miraculously opens up and actually leaves sort of on time. So we'll see. Yeah, so we do know that Americans flights are back up and running, resume normal operation. Delta flights, which uh, Olivia is flying, uh, they are still experiencing delays like she's saying. So guys, we're going to be continuing to monitor this situation all morning long and we will have updates for you. Uh, but live in DFW, Bo Evans, CBS News Texas with Olivia Leach.
Now, as you heard Olivia saying, she was actually checking her app for updates. Now, Delta did give us an official statement just before six o'clock, and they said, ironically, customers should use the Fly Delta app for updates. We apologize for the inconvenience as our teams work through this issue. Reports indicated that other airlines may also be impacted, and of course, we are seeing that. So we're continuing to monitor planes, trains, and automobiles here in the newsroom. Madison and Carmen sending it back to you. Yeah, and, and, Olivia. And, I mean, your Goodness heart just sense. breaks for uh, my sister and brother-in-law and their three kids also heading to Love Field Airport this morning. I mean, it's the oh, summer really? travel season, yeah. so there are so many people that are thinking, oh, how is this going to impact yeah. me and how do I best navigate it? I think Olivia is doing the right thing. You're getting to the airport. You're, you're Early. hoping and fingers crossed <laughs> that mm -hmm. maybe that flight gets back on track. And then Love Field, even where they're saying that most Southwest Airlines flights are back on track, you just get there early just in case because you don't know if those bad baggage claim areas uh, are operating correctly. You don't know if the baggage check areas are operating correctly. Uh, we saw that the blue screen that I'm seeing on my laptop is being seen on those ticketing counters That's too right. at some mm -hmm. places. So if you do run into this screen, it's it's going to be not so great news for yeah, your morning. Not so great news. And I just want to go back to the work that our assignment desk is doing right now for us at uh, CBS News Texas. So they are trying to make calls again to a lot of the places that will probably impact us here today on this Friday. Uh, supermarkets, really, um, hospitals too, as well, making those calls, trying to figure out, hey, what issues are you having? And if so, can you relay that information to us so that, again, we can bring it to you as a viewer? Yeah. Just so so that you're prepared as you head out this morning yeah. as to who is being impacted and how this, of course, could trickle down to you. Now